Hi, this is Jill with SaintButJill.com, and today we are going to make this Frappuccino card with this adorable little snowman on the front. So I'm going to show you how this opens. These products, uh, with the exception of the cardstock and paper, are from Honeybee Stamps. So you can see how that opens up, and let's get started. Okay, this is the die set from Honeybee. Honeybee. Um, it is this uh, Frappuccino cup. It cut and scores the cup. Then you have the whipped cream, the straw, you have the cup front, the dome lid, and then there's the um, edge of the coffee cup, which is right here. And then there were two circles in there. I'm not 100% sure what these are for, but they were in the die set. So let's uh, start die cutting. I am going to cut a cup a dome, a, a edge of the lid, and a few pieces. This cup actually cuts with 12 by 12 paper. So I have a four and a quarter by 12 piece of cardstock, white, and you can see that it fits right on there exactly. Now, if you don't have 12 by 12 cardstock, you can cut one half uh, with your eight and a half by 11, and then the other half on this side and just piece the two together with a little tiny flap at the score line. I have this all lined up on my platinum machine and the platinum machine is a little bit um, a little bit bigger than a, a lot of um, die cutting machines but the plate size is eight and a half eight and a half by 12 because it just fits on my plates. So I'm going to go ahead and put my big plate on top. And I have some washi tape to hold it in place so it doesn't move the die and the paper. And I'm going to go ahead and crank that through so you can see what it looks like. All right, so that one's come out the other side. So you can see here that I have the die cut. I'm going to carefully peel that washi tape off so I don't rip my cardstock. And you can see the, how the card just comes right out of the die and it's already cut and scored. So I'm just going to pull that tape off carefully and then we're going to fold it. So you can see there's the score line. And then you're just going to pinch it like that and you have your card base. Okay, I have all my supplies die cut and I just wanted to share with you what stamps I'm using. I am using this perfect blend from Honeybee Stamps and I'm using the sentiment that says, you warm my heart. And I already have that mounted on a block. And then of course I'm using my all time favorite snowman step called Snow Buddies from Honeybee Stamps. And I'm just using the little heart because I've already stamped and die cut out the snowman. So let's go ahead and get started in putting this together. All right, I got my craft mat in place. I got my cup ready. I got my dauber with a sponge applicator and I got my pool play ink for the top of the cup. So it's easy to ink blend on a craft mat because you don't have to worry about um, anything getting dirty. So what I'm going to do is I'm inking this up really good with the Pool Play ink. Pool Play ink. So, and that gives me the lightest blue for the top of the cup. So, what I want to do is I want to start off of the mat and kind of just lightly blend this ink onto the cup. And you just, if you have a little mess up like I do right there, you just go ahead and keep layering over top of it until you get what you need. But when you start off the paper, you avoid a lot of harsh edges. Now, I am going to put whipped cream cardstock layer over top of that. So that's all we need for this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cool pool play away and move my craft mat. I can wipe that off in a little bit. So now we have the card. We have it folded. And I'm going to pull back in my pieces here. So this is pretty straightforward, is I am going to glue my whipped cream in place, and I actually used liquid glue for a lot of these components just because it was faster than trying to get tape runners on 
Okay, my glue is clogged. So there we go. So I'm gonna get that all set and put that right into place. So I'm just gonna put it right up underneath the center of the cup dome. Okay, so that's gonna dry in a second. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to add the clear dome to make it look like it's actually behind a cup. So that goes on next. So I'm literally just gonna put a line of glue on the whipped cream and glue that right into place so that you're just gonna hold it on the corners of the cup so it lines up super straightforward and then give that a second to dry. And then the cup front. On this one I have heart paper, but I am gonna use striped paper on this one. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna glue that right up on the front of the card. And when you have liquid glue, um, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to move it around to get it lined up. So I am just gonna slide this right into place. And then I'm just gonna kinda wiggle it so it's not hanging over on any edges. So there you go, that's how we put it in place. And then you're just gonna push it down. Now for this guy, I cut this with the die. It's two, it was four by two and a quarter. And then I just cut it with the cup front that I used to cut the paper. So that way there you have the perfect size cup cozy. And this is FSJ corrugated cardstock which looks just like the cup holders at the coffee shop, like Starbucks. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna line that up. It's cut to the same size as the cup, so it's pretty easy to line that right up. I have a tiny, tiny bit of a gap there, but I'm not sure why. I think I just have to kind of wiggle it. There we go, perfect. All right, so now, that leaves a couple more things. So I used a scrap for the straw. You can actually get two straws out of each die cut. So I just used a scrap and I'm just gonna trim that off so we have a shorter straw like that. And it's gonna get fed right underneath the plastic like that. So I'm gonna just put a little dot of glue on the back of this. And we are going to pop that right under the whipped cream, like so. So I like my straw on the white, on the right hand side, but you can put it in the center, on the top, you can have it on top of the whipped cream, whatever works for you. All right, so that just leaves the snowman and the top where I put the sentiment. So let's go ahead and make the snowman because he'll take a second to dry. So we are going to put a tiny drop of glue on each side for his hands. And I'm just gonna put those in place like that. And I have his other one die cut right here. I'm gonna put that one in place. I got blue ink on my fingers. All right, so now that his hands are in place, I'm gonna color his scarf before I put it on him. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp the lid. So, I have Sweetberry, uh, Sweetberry ink. Let me move these up so we're fully in screen here. I have Sweetberry ink for the two hearts on each side. I have Memento Black for the sentiment and I have a few Copic markers for coloring. So, I have the stamp set. I have the words mounted here, so we're gonna go ahead and do those first in black. That way there I can make sure that they're centered. So this says, you warm my heart. Now this can be really cute to send a Valentine or a birthday, a winter birthday, so. All right, so we're gonna, you warm my heart. It's not perfectly centered, but that's okay. And then I have this berry and I'm gonna put a heart on each side and like so. All right, so now we are done stamping. So I don't have a ton of Copic markers, so I kind of make do with what I have. So for the Sweetberry match, I am looking at 
RV17, but it's not a perfect RV17. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color the um, scarf here. And then to get the highlights, I kind of cheat with the um, colorless blender to kind of give the scarf a little bit of a look. Like it has, I don't know what you call that, but something. So these, these go together pretty quick because there's not a lot of coloring on this little guy. All right, so there is the, the uh, scarf, and I'm gonna do his nose, and this is YR04, you can see it right there. And this one's kind of bright, I thought, so I'm gonna tone that down too. All right, so there we have that. And then for the outside of the snowman, I have um, G00, it's the lightest blue that I have in my collection. So I'm going to put some little bit of highlights around here, like that, but they're not going to stay there. So like that. Um, if he wasn't wearing a scarf, I'd do one on his neck, and then kind of one down here. And I'm not really sure where or how I learned it. All right, so now we have Zero, the colorless blender. And this is mostly for the highlights here because you want to take some of this color away because it looks like a blue line. So what this does is it kind of blends it and lightens it. So we're going to just go ahead. And you might have to do it twice. But when you go, it takes a minute to work too, but... Um, I really just wanted a, this super light blue highlight, not a blue marker line. And then since the front, the behind the scarf should be a little bit darker than the front of the scarf, I'm just going to kind of go like this on the front of the scarf. And you can see it takes some of the color away. And I don't want quite that much taken away, so... Um, what I do is I just kind of go over it and then recolor it. There you go. And then I'm just going to make sure that my, so my colorless blender still has some work to do over here because it's still kind of a heavy color. So I'm just gonna lighten those up again. You could see on the pink that it does really take the color away. So this one is almost there. And you just kind of take away the ink till you get the color that you like. All right, so if you wanna add a little highlight to his nose, you can do that as well, or lighten the color a little bit. All right, and that is just about it. I am gonna go ahead and glue on his scarf with a little bit of liquid glue. Put that right there. And then I'm going to attach the last couple pieces with some foam squares. So I'm gonna put three on the back of this. And two on the back of this guy. Peel those off. Let's put him on first. So I want him right there in the center of the card. And then I want this right over top of the seams with the whipped cream and the dome. So there is a little bit of shine here. I don't know if you can see it in the reflection of the light, there, a little bit there. So it really does look like a plastic dome is on your card. And then your inside is all ready for whatever sentiment that you want. So there you go. Thanks for joining me today.